Okay, cross chain and durability. Oh, wait, okay. Cross chain. Okay, okay wait. Wait. Okay. All right, let's talk cross-chain interoperability for a second, or how to send messages, transfer tokens, and initiate actions across any network. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Stefan, and on Eat the Block, we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. So interoperability, in a nutshell, that's how computers or systems exchange or make use of any assets and information. That's actually how the internet works today. You see right now on the internet, multiple protocols live together like TCP IP and HTTP. So you can browse around and get all sorts of information and watch your YouTube videos. Now hold that thought and let's move on to cross-chain. Cross-chain can be done in a few different ways, but essentially the evolution has gone from wrapping to using meta chains to low-level protocols. With wrapping, what happens is that you lock your token in custody on one blockchain and a wrapped version is released on the other with a one-to-one -one peg to the original token. But that's difficult to build and major hacks happen like the wormhole hack. Or you can use a meta chain where a parent blockchain stands in between two networks. Now here you get the actual native token of the targeted blockchain. But that's even more complex to put off. And major hacks happen like the Thor chain hacks. Lastly, we've got the more recent low-level messaging approach in which the protocol provides native and direct communication between different blockchains. For example, we've got the layer zero protocol used by Stacket Finance. Now, those guys use a combination of independent and off-chain relayers and oracles. CCIP from Chainlink is another one, kind of similar to layer zero, but relayers and oracles are not independent. Now, that's why I was talking about protocols at the beginning of this video, because what we are experiencing in Web3 today is similar to what happened in the early stage of the internet. Internet. Protocols needed to be built for all the intranets to communicate together. And protocols like Layer 0 and CCIP are paving the way in that direction. I think blockchain has a great future and I really can't wait to see Web3 developers building the dApps with code from multiple different blockchains. Hey, what do you think? What's the best use case of cross-chain technology you run into? Let me know in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.